HCF and welcome to another online service. We hope you're having a blessed Sunday morning. So we invite you to praise and worship our God this morning. Little tears, little tears may fall, my song will rise, my song will rise to you. The my heart may fail, my song will rise, my song will rise to you. While there's breath in my lungs, I will praise you, Lord. In the dead of night, I lift my eyes, I lift my eyes to you. Though the waters rise, I lift my eyes, I lift my eyes to you. While there's hope in this heart, I will praise you, Lord. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. But I cannot see. Faith arise to you when I cannot feel your hand in mine. Let faith arise to you, God of mercy and love. I will praise you, Lord. I shine with glory, Lord of light. I feel alive with you in your presence. Now I come alive. I am alive with you. There is strength when I say, I will praise you, Lord. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When sorrow comes my way, you are the shield around me. Always you remain, my courage in the fight. I hear you call my name. Jesus, I am coming, walking on the waves, reaching for your light. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The last time, joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I'll dance, in the shadows I'll sing. The joy of the Lord is my This is my 
our testimony from death to life. The streets who wrote my story now testify. But Jesus Christ, the righteous, I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Oh, whoa. Sons and daughters, bought with blood and washed in water. Sing the praises of the Spirit, Son and Father. Our God will finish what He started. Oh yes, our God will finish what He started. This is my testimony from death to life. Christ, you wrote my story, I'll testify. But Jesus Christ, the righteous, I'm justified. This is my testimony, this is my testimony. You don't have 
rubber band When the earth gives sway on this rock The old church will stand Nothing has ever will surprise you Nothing has ever make you flesh When it all shakes out The gates of hell don't stand a chance I don't know how you make a way But I know you will don't know how you make a way, but I know you will. You've been good on every promise and eat and desire on every dead end. But out of that grave, don't know how you make a way, but I know you will. You broke my heart from Egypt. You cut the road through sea. All our chains to end this place The story ends in you And when we cross that Jordan Look back where we've been All your chains and this place The story ends in you Magandang, uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and uh, once again maraming salamat sa pagsama nyo sa sa akin sa umagang ito no uh, for our uh, Sunday service no online Sunday service and I hope that you are having a wonderful weekend no so sa umaga pong ito uh, we will be continuing no uh, this is our second to the last uh, topic no on our series learning from the early church no yung ano po ba ang matututunan natin no dun sa sa naunang no na unang uh, church no the, from the book of acts no at ang uh, title po ng pag-uusapan natin ngayon is courage to spread or to share the gospel no Cur- the courage to share or spread the gospel no and uh, i will be reading from several no several verses no several uh, verses from three different chapters no in acts no um, babasahin ko po yung acts 6 8 to 15 uh, acts 7 uh, oh, verses um, 1 to 60 po sana pero ang babasahin ko na lang po is verse starting with verse 51 to 60 and then uh, chapter 8 verses 1 to 4 okay so starting with verse uh, with chapter 6 no sabi po doon sa verse 8 now Stephen no a man full of God's grace and power performed great wonders and signs among the people opposition arose however from members of the synagogue of the freedmen no as it was called Jews of Cyrene and Alexandria as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia who began to argue with Stephen. But they could not stand up against the wisdom the Spirit gave him as he spoke. No? Uh, then they secretly persuaded some, uh, some men no, to say that we have heard Stephen speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So they stirred up the people and the elders and the teachers of the law and they seized Stephen and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They produced false witnesses who testified that this fellow never stopped speaking against the holy place and against the law. For they, uh, for we have heard him say uh, that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the Sanhedrin looked intently at Stephen and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Then in verse uh, and then in chapter 7, no? Uh, the starting yung nag, nung nagsimula po yung dun sa chapter 7, 
uh, Stephen started sharing. No, he started sharing the history, no, uh, about Jesus Christ, about where he came from, about the prophecy, uh, the prophecy about the coming Messiah, and he connected it, no, to Jesus Christ, no, Jesus being the Messiah, no, and then after, no, after all this, ano, no, after all this uh, uh, sharing, no, or uh, sharing of the gospel, no, by Stephen, no, he said this in verse 51. No, ito yung sinabi niya dun sa verse 51 na ikinagalit ng mga taga ng mga uh, ng mga Jewish leaders no dun sa Sanhedrin. No, sabi niya dun sa verse 51, you stiff neck people. Sabi niya you stiff neck people. No, sabi niya hindi kayo marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ninyo, no? You stiff neck people, sabi niya. Your hearts and ears are still uncircumcised. You are just like your ancestors. You always resist the Holy Spirit. No? Was there ever a prophet your ancestors did not persecute? They even killed those who predicted the coming of the righteous one. And now you have betrayed and murdered him. No, so inaccuse si nabihan na niya, no, that you murdered, no, si that that they murdered Jesus Christ. No? So in verse 53, sabi niya, you have no, you have uh, but you uh, you who have received the law that was given through the angels have not obeyed it. When the uh, when the members of the Sanhedrin heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. No, so galit na galit sila. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. No, look, he said, no, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed to him dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of this young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Then in chapter 8, no, in, in Acts chapter 8, verses 1 to 4, and on that day, a great persecution broke out against the church no, in Jerusalem. And all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. Godly men buried Stephen and mourned deeply for him. But Saul began to destroy the church. Going from house to, fa- uh, from house, to house, he dragged off both men and women and put them in prison. And those who have been scattered preached the word wherever they went. Ay Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, for this word that you have given us, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Lord God, for the example that you have showed us, Lord God, uh, for the uh, boldness, Lord God, uh, of Stephen, the life of Stephen, Lord God, um, wherein he spoke boldly against the, the Sanhedrin, against the leaders of the Jewish church, speaking, Lord, about the truth, no. Of, Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. At sa umagang ito, mangusap po kayo uh, sa mga puso namin, sa mga isipan namin. Tulungan niyo po kami, maintindihan namin, Lord, ang, ang nais niyo pong sabihin sa amin. And that we may be encouraged to truly, no, um, to truly uh, speak boldly no, and, and share your gospel and spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Panginoon, maraming salamat, Lord God. Speak to us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. So, sharing the gospel, no, um, as a as a new believer, no, uh, many years ago, no, sharing the gospel was not an easy task for me, no. Hindi po madali para sa akin yung pag-share ng gospel, no. Alam ko po yun, no, nung 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 um, nung bago po ako Kristiano, uh, I knew the importance, no. I knew the importance of sharing the gospel, no. Um, but it wasn't easy for me no hindi hindi siya nag, naging madali sa akin for and and for several reasons no uh, na mention ko na po to nung nakaraang uh, nung nakaraang lunes no in in our 8 o'clock habit it was difficult for me for three reasons no three basic reasons and i'm sure many of you can can uh, ano can uh, will agree with me no will agree with me uh, on the on this on these reasons first is that uh, unang una as a new believer i believe no that I did not have enough knowledge to share it no wala ako masyadong alam sa Biblia wala ako masyadong alam no uh, kung, papa- <coughs> kung papaano kung paano i-share yung gospel ni Lord 
no so i did not know how no i did not have the knowledge uh, uh, on how to do it no second is that i was ashamed no nahihiya ako dun sa aking pamilya sa aking mga kaibigan anong sasabihin nila sa akin no kasi unang-una sila yung nakakakilala sa akin they were the ones who knew me they were the ones who know uh, who knows no kung kung sino talaga ako kung ano yung mga nagawa ko noon kung ano yung mga yung mga kalokohan na ginagawa ko noon at mga kasalanan na nagawa ko noon no and so i was afraid no i was i was ashamed no to to tell my to uh, to share that with my family and my friends diba kasi iniisip ko ano kaya yung sasabihin nila sa akin diba baka sabihin lang nila na na ano na na, na niloloko ko lang sila no and that the third reason is that i was afraid of being rejected diba natatakot ako at nahihiya ako na baka mamaya hindi naman sila maniwala sa akin, no? Walang maniwala sa akin at i-reject lang nila lahat ng sinasabi ko sa kanila. Okay? So those were the reasons, no? And I I I'm sure, no, that, that, that many of you can no, can uh, uh, can can agree with me, no? But that desire, no, yung yung desire na yon to share the gospel has always been there and I believe, no, as true believers of Christ, the the uh, the desire No, to share the gospel will always be in our hearts. No, nandun yan parati, hindi yan mawawala. No, kung tunay tayong mananampalataya, it's not going to leave us. It's going to be to be there. No, and I realized, no, how important, no, how important it is that people hear about it. No, na, na marinig nila yung katotohanan. No, para sa kanilang kaligtasan. No, after all, no, after all, I myself was saved. No, uh, because many tried. No, many tried to share the gospel to me. No, maraming nag, nag nag attempt no na mag-share or nag-share ng gospel sa akin. No? Now, let me just share you a, a, a brief no um uh, ano instance no dun sa sa buhay ko no before I I started believing no in in the Lord Jesus Christ. No, when I when I was in college, no when I was in college, I was a I I was a, a Catholic. No, I was a Catholic and no I would go to mass every day, uh, not every day, but I would go to mass no religiously every week no every sunday no sometimes no in the middle of the week no nagpupunta ako nagsisimba ako i knew di ba na na, na meron ako mga nagagawang kasalanan no and i would go to confession i would go to communion no and uh, i knew i was ano no i i i uh, i was not no a very bad person no in short no yun yung yung pagkakaalam ko and so no when i was uh, when i was in college no doon sa sa UP no uh, several times no several times nilalapitan ako ng mga ano taga couples ah couples for Christ campus no yung campus crusade for Christ no yung mga taga campus crusade for Christ they would they would ano they would they would come to me no nakikita nila minsan uh, nakaupo lang ako doon no may inaantay ako no and they would come to me siguro mga mga three times yun ah, tatlong beses nangyari yun no uh, throughout my stay no in in UP three times or four times maybe no nilalapitan nila ako and they would share the gospel to me no meron sila yung maliit na booklet the four spiritual laws no that was what they usually use no nung, nung, nung mga time na yun and that was very popular then no and they would share that to me no uh, nung una sabi ko uh, hindi okay okay na ako no okay na ako but but they would they would insist no and then Uh, next time ulit no makikita na naman nila ako doon no kung kung saan-saan ako naka kung sa iba't ibang lugar ako naka nakatigil no nakaupo no and they would come to me no magkakaibang mga tao to no magkakaibang mga tao to no so siguro si, si Lord din nangungulit lapitan niyo yan no lapitan niyo yan and they would share the same thing no the same thing and i realize sabi ko sige pakikinggan ko na lang to di ba para matapos na and then uh, ano para para umalis na sila and so i was listening No, I was listening to it. No, and I was listening to it. And then after that, sige, makikipag nagpe-pray ako kasama nila and they would go. Sabi ko, ah, effective. Effective 'yon, no? Umaalis, umaalis na sila pagkatapos hindi nila ako kukulitin. It would only take probably about uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the most, then okay na 'yon, no? And then nauulit na naman 'yon. So ganun ulit, so makikinig ulit ako and and I I would uh, I would pray with them, no? And then they would leave, no? So ganun yung nangyayari sa akin, paulit-ulit na nang nangyayari 'yon, no? But what I did not know was that the Lord was already planting a seed, no? A seed of faith in my heart. No, nagpa-plant na siya ng seed doon. Yes, I was I was rejecting them. Yes, I was 
trying to uh, I was trying to be civil I was trying to no just uh, di ba just listen to them no nagfinefake ko lang may kinig ako kunyari sa kanila di ba but di ba si Lord nagtatanim na siya no nagtatanim na siya ng ng seed no nung seed sa puso ko no and then other people were watering it already by by repeating the same thing over and over over and over no so so na, na, ano unti-unti di ba no na, na tumutubo nag-grow yung word na yon until uh, until such time no uh, when a friend of mine shared the gospel to me no I accepted the Lord no sumama ako dun sa church nila and I I I accepted the Lord no so it took di ba several people or even many people di ba for me to be able to uh, realize no my need no my need for the Lord akala ko noon okay na yon nagsisimba ako nangungumpisal ako no nagdadasal ako akala ko okay na yon di ba but what I did not realize was I did not have the right relationship with the Lord di ba and that was what no I I discovered that was what the Holy Spirit revealed to me through these people no dito sa mga tao na yon na hindi ko man lang matandaan kung ano yung mga pangalan nila no or ni hindi ko man lang naitanong kung ano yung mga pangalan nila but they did plant the seed and they did water no uh, which that which was planted in me no? so soon enough no after i have received the lord no yun nga medyo nahihirapan pa rin ako nahihirapan ako mag-share ng gospel but the lord was there already no i already have that relationship with the lord and soon enough i started serving the lord no uh, and that is up until this day no um ang unang-unang no uh, ang unang-unang uh, ano ko noon ang unang-unang ministry ko noon no as i have shared uh, last monday no unang-unang ministry ko noon was as a teacher no sa, sa Sunday school no i was teaching no yung mga 10 to 12 years old no mga juniors ang tawag sa kanila noon no and i was sharing and that was where the lord first gave me that the gift of teaching no and i, I realized that that, that that the lord gave me that gift of teaching which no i have used all throughout no up until today diba until i started teaching in the university diba i started uh, serving the lord no as a uh, Uh, as an elder and then as a uh, as a pastor no an associate pastor no uh, so yun yung ano no uh, yun yung yun yung ano yun yung uh, nilagay ni Lord no sa aking puso at yun yung gift na ibinigay sa akin ni Lord no the gift of teaching no and so i was sharing no and preaching the word no to he- to whoever will listen no kung sino man no ang gustong makinig no sharing the gospel actually is not that difficult No, hindi naman siya talaga ganun kahirap eh. No, hindi siya talaga ganun kahirap for the power, no, to do so uh, do not and should not, no? And should not come from us. No, hindi naman dapat sa atin nagagaling yung kalakasan na 'yon. Yung power na 'yon hindi naman sa atin talaga nagagaling 'yon eh. But rather from the Holy Spirit. No, nanggagaling 'yan sa banal na espiritu. Now let us look at the example of the apostles in the book of Acts, no? Uh, the one that we have just shared, 'di ba, si Uh, about no about dito kay Stephen no about his boldness in sharing the word no hindi naman sa hindi naman sa apostle he was just one of the disciples uh, in fact he was just one he was appointed no as a deacon no ang deacon noon ay eh, taga silbi no serving tables no doon sa mga ano no nagpapakain doon sa mga doon sa ibang mga mga believers no so let us look at this ano no let us look at this uh, this scriptures no um No, uh, on how they work, no, and how they share the gospel of Jesus boldly, even in the midst, no, even in the midst of persecution and danger, no. May kita nga natin dito sa ano, dito sa verse ano, uh, Acts 8 verse 4, sabi doon, and those who have been scattered, no, when they were persecuted, they they all scattered, di ba? Siguro natatakot din sila, ayaw nila makulong, so they scattered, they move around, no, in different places, in different provinces, no, in different countries, but, di ba? kahit na nag-scatter sila they their faith no their faith did not leave them no hindi nila iniwanan hindi nila inabandon yung faith nila hindi nila inabandon yung belief nila and what did they do as they scattered they, diba they preached the word wherever they went no kung saan man sila mapunta dinala nila no yung word ni Lord and so the Lord used this the Lord used the persecution diba so that the word of the Lord no the gospel of Jesus Christ would spread no throughout the world. 'Di ba? Kaya natin natanggap, no? Kaya natin nalaman, 
no as being gentiles di ba kaya natin natanggap yung yung ano yung salita ng Diyos no yung uh, yung gospel ng ating Panginoong Hesus so what does the bible say no about sharing or spreading the gospel ano bang ba sinasabi ng biblia okay first of all let us look at this no let us look at uh, uh, let us look at the bible no first of all no to share the gospel is a command no yung pag-share at yung pag-spread ng gospel is actually a command of the Lord no sabi sa Matthew no in Matthew 28:18 to 20 and this no many of us know this as believers no i'm sure no natatandaan natin and this is the great commission no in verse 18 sabi doon then Jesus came to them and said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So ito yung pinag yung pinag-uutos ng ating Panginoong Hesus. This was his command, 'di ba? Sabi niya, "Go, 'di ba? Make disciples of all nations, teach them, 'di ba? Everything that I have taught you." No? And then in Mark 15, uh, Mark 16 verse 15, sabi dito ng ng ating Panginoong Hesus, no? Uh, ng ating Panginoong Hesus, sabi niya rin dito, no? the same thing and this is the version of of uh, of Mark no sabi niya dito go into all the world and preach the gospel no to every creature sabi niya preach the gospel to every creature okay so to share the gospel is not a suggestion no it is not a suggestion it is not something diba na sige uh, pag may time ako gagawin ko yan diba pagka no magpag-aaralan ko yung bible and then i will share the gospel diba It is not a suggestion nor is it an option. No, hindi po 'yan option na pwede or hindi or pwedeng gawin o pwedeng hindi, 'di ba? As believers, we are commanded to do so. We are commanded to share the gospel. Why is it a command rather than just an option? No, bakit ba ito? Bakit ba ito command? No, bakit ba hindi 'yan option? 'Di ba may free will naman tayo, 'di ba? It is a command because everybody needs to hear it. Kasi nandoon yung kaligtasan ng bawat isa. Everybody needs to hear it. No? Because God's desire is for all people to be saved. Di ba? Yun yung desire ni Lord. Yun yung gusto ni Lord that lahat-lahat ng mga tao ay makakilala sa kanyang, sa kanyang anak, no? Uh, kay, kay, kay Jesus Christ. But why us? Di ba? Bakit? Bakit ako? Wala naman ako, wala hindi naman ako magaling magsalita, no? Parang si Moses, no? I I I I do not speak very well, no? Meron naman mga pastor, meron naman mga teachers, no? They can do it better, no? They can do it better. Now this leads me, no, to my second ano, to the second point, no? The second thing that we we can learn, no, uh, about sharing the gospel. As believers, no, we are all called, no? Lahat po tayo, no, tinawag, no? We are all called or commanded to share the gospel boldly both in words and in deed no sa salita no at sa gawa no in Acts 6 verse 8 to 10 no ito po si Stephen now Stephen no a man full of grace and power performed great wonders and signs among the people opposition arose however from the members no of the synagogue of the freedmen as it was called Jews uh, for, of Cyrene and Alexandria as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia who began to argue with Stephen but diba ito yun no but they could not stand up against the wisdom of the spirit no the wisdom of the spirit that was given to him as he spoke diba so as Stephen was speaking no as Stephen was speaking the the holy spirit was giving him the wisdom no kung ano yung kanyang sasabihin no and uh, Stephen after sharing the word no about Jesus Christ said this no sabi niya dun sa Acts 7 no 51 to 53 no ito yung binasa ko kanina no kung saan galit na galit no yung mga yung mga leaders no no dun sa yung yung Sanhedrin no sabi dun sa verse 51 you stiff neck people no sabi niya you stiff neck people no matitigas ang ulo niyo matitigas yung mga liig niyo hindi kayo marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ninyo no parang yun yung sinasabi ni ano parang yun yung sinasabi ni Stephen do sa mga ano do sa mga Jews no and your hearts and ears are still uncircumcised you are just like your ancestors you always resist the Holy Spirit um, uh, <clears throat> was there uh, was there ever a prophet your ancestors did not persecute 
Uh, they even killed those who, predict, uh, who predicted the coming of the righteous one. And now you have betrayed and murdered him. You have, uh, but you have, you who have received the law that was given through the angels, uh, but you have not obeyed it. Since sabi niya, no, tatanggap ninyo yung law, no, na binigay ng mga angels, no, it was given to you, but you, you are not obeying it, no, yun yung sinasabi niya. And all the while, di ba, yung mga Sanhedrin, yung mga leaders, yung mga Jewish leaders, all the while, they thought, di ba, na sumusunod sila dun sa law, di ba, but they were not, no, And that was exactly what Jesus was telling them also, no? Kaya galit na galit din si Jesus sa kanila, di ba? Because they were the teachers of the law and yet they were the ones who were persecuting the people. They were the ones, no, who were giving the people a hard time, no, in in believing and accepting, no, the law. No? So yun yung yun yung sinabi ni Stephen, no? Yun yung sinabi sa 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 kanila ni Stephen. Now Stephen, no? Tandaan po natin, Stephen was not a pastor. Stephen is not a teacher. No, hindi siya pastor, hindi siya teacher. He was a deacon. Ano ba ang deacon noon? Ano? As I've said, he was tasked to serve tables. No, he was tasked to serve tables to organize, no, the feeding of believers. 'Di ba? Sila yung inassign ng mga apostles, no, na na, na mag-serve no sa mga tao. No? But he was a man, no, based on 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 Acts 6, no, but he was a man full of grace and power. No, nasa kanya yung banal na espiritu, no? As mentioned in Acts 6, and he spoke boldly. So sinasabi dito, kahit sino pa tayo, kahit na ano pa yung gift na meron ka, 'di ba? Kahit na hindi ka pastor, kahit na hindi ka teacher, 'di ba? Kahit na ordinaryong tao ka lamang, 'di ba? Kahit na sino ka pa man, 'di ba? Kahit wala kang pinag-aralan masyado, 'di ba? If the Holy Spirit speaks through you, 'di ba? You will be able to speak boldly. No? And he spoke boldly in front of unbelievers who needed, no, who needed to hear the good, uh, the gospel, no, the gospel of truth. Yes, obviously Stephen knew the word of truth, but his boldness to speak, no, did not come from that. No, hindi yan galing sa knowledge, no, hindi yan galing do sa kaalaman niya ng scripture, no. His boldness came from the Holy Spirit. No, his boldness came from the Holy Spirit. His understanding of the scripture came from the Holy Spirit. No, nang galing sa banal na espiritu, no, sa banal na espiritu 'yon. 'Di ba? Kaya nga sinabi dun sa ano, no, sinabi dun sa uh, sa sinabi dun sa ano, hindi siya maano, hindi siya hindi siya ma, ma-outwit, no, hindi siya ma-outwit ng mga Jews. Why? Because the Holy Spirit was giving him wisdom. No, he was giving Stephen the wisdom, 'di ba, to speak no para makapag ma, makapagsalita siya ng ng katotohanan no um, so his boldness came from the holy spirit stephen shared the gospel no in word as well no as in deed di ba he spoke the he spoke the 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 word no and no he shared the, he, he he served tables no nag nagso-serve siya dun sa mga sa mga believers no he was doing it no in word and in deed no and he was an obedient no an obedient disciple no of of the lord no in 2 corinthians 4:13 no in 2 corinthians 4:13 it is says there and it is written i believe therefore i have spoken since we have the same spirit of faith we also believe and therefore speak no so ano sinasabi dito no ano sinasabi dito as believers we need to speak the word of truth as believers kasi naniwala tayo we believe no and if we truly believe we are going to speak diba magsasalita at magsasalita tayo we need to speak the word of truth we need to uh, to to spread the gospel of Christ because we were the ones no who experienced the truth tayo yung nakatanggap ng katotohanan na yon tayo yung naka-experience ng katotohanan na yon and we need to share it with other people we were the ones blessed to have accepted the salvation of Jesus so dearly uh, that Jesus so dearly paid for with his own life no and we share the gospel because we as believers no are the ambassadors no sabi sa biblia we are representatives of Christ we are ambassadors of Jesus Christ no as though we are speaking no speaking for uh, f- uh, for him diba so kailangan natin i-share yung gospel na yan kailangan natin i-share yung katotohanan na yan and as believers also we need to practice no we need to practice what we preach no we need to practice what we preach no i i remember 
no this one uh, uh, I have heard no this this uh, words no from ano from uh, uh, from Mahatma Gandhi no sabi niya if only sabi niya no um, no sabi niya if only Christians no practice what they preach I too would be a Christian no galing yun kay Mahatma Gandhi no kasi napakarami daw na parang sinasabi niya no napakaraming mga Kristiyano noon di ba who, who profess to be Christians but they are not doing di ba what they are saying no what kung kung ano yung sinasabi ng 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 ano ng ng pag kung ano ba yung tunay na ibig sabihin ng pagiging Kristiyano no probably they were not kind they were not good they were not no they were not very helpful they were not very loving di ba so sabi ni ano Mahatma Gandhi if if only Christians practice what they preach Diba? I too would be a Christian. No? So, we need, no, we need to practice no, what we preach, what we say. Kung ano yung sinasabi natin, dapat ipinamumuhay natin. No? We need to share it in word and in deed. No? Sa ginagawa natin, kailangan nakikita yan no, ng, ibang, ng ibang mga tao. No? Um, when we preach love, we need to show how it is to love. When we preach kindness and goodness, we need to show people how to be kind and how to be good. And when we preach salvation, we need to show people what it means to be saved. Diba? Ano ba ang ibig sabihin no, ng isang tao na naligtas? No, how grateful that person should be. So third, no, yung pangatlong, ano, pangatlong lesson no, na matututunan natin. Whom God calls, no, tandaan po natin ito, whom God calls, He equips. No, whom God calls, He equips. And that power, no, yung yung equip, yung pag-equip ng ating Panginoon, no, sa sa mga uh, sa mga tinawag niya ay nanggagaling sa banal na espiritu. The power comes, no, from the Holy Spirit. No, in John 15 verse 20 uh, 26 to 27, sabi doon, when the advocate comes, whom I will send you uh, to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. So Sinasabi niya dito, no, yung advocate, the Holy Spirit is the one who's going to testify about me. Siya yung magsasalita, no, tungkol sa ating Panginoong Hesus. Siya yung magbibigay ng katotohanan, no? So it is actually the Holy Spirit speaking through us, di ba? But we but the, the Holy Spirit needs a host. Yung Holy Spirit kailangan merong no, merong magsasalita, no, nung 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 mga gusto niyang sabihin. And that is us, no, as believers, no? And um no, and then in verse 27 yan, And you also must testify For you have been with me from the very beginning Because naniwala ka no, Because you have been with the Lord Jesus Christ You need to speak no, about the Lord Jesus Christ And about what He has done no, for, for all of us no, And then in Acts 2 verse 4 And all of them no, no, And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit And began to speak in other tongues As the Spirit enabled them so this was the time no, when the Holy Spirit no, uh, came no, and they, they baptized no, every believer doon, doon, na, doon sa upper room na yon, no, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they started speaking in different tongues no, uh, in other tongues no, and they spoke boldly no, starting with Peter no, so nagsasalita na sila no, which they were not doing before no? and when Jesus commanded His apostles and disciples to go and make disciples to preach the gospel He did not leave them to fend for themselves Diba, hindi niya pinabayaan no yung, yung mga apostles hindi niya pinabayaan no and uh, na, naggawin nila yon sa sarili nilang kalakasan no to do everything out of their own talents and abilities no the lord jesus christ knew no that they could not do it no that we cannot do it no he did not no no he did not rather he told them no ano sinabi niya he told them to wait for the helper no antayin ninyo no yung helper the holy spirit no and when it came no, and each of them were filled with the Spirit of God. They were filled with the power. No, they were filled with the power to do the work. No, to do the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. No, in Acts verse six, uh, in uh, in Acts chapter six verse eight. Now Stephen, uh, now Stephen, a man full of uh, uh, God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Diba? So, ayun yung proof, di ba? Ayun yung isa dun sa mga proof, si Stephen. No, sinasabi dito, was full of God's grace and power, no? Coming from the Holy Spirit. No, and what did he do? He performed great wonders and signs, no? Among the people, no? Na nakikita ng mga tao. No? And what happened as they were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit? They became bold, no? The apostles, the disciples, they became bold, No? 
and they spoke without fear nor hesitation. Diba? Yun yung binibigay ng nung banal na spirito. Okay? So next, no? What is required of us? No? The next lesson, ano ba yung requirement sa atin? Diba? If it's the Holy Spirit who's going to speak through us, then what is what is required of us? Ano ba ang kailangan natin? No? What do we need? No? 1 Corinthians 3.6, Paul said, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Diba? I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Many times, we are worried. No? Kadalasan po, nag-worry tayo. No? Niisip natin, what if I get rejected? Diba? Paano kung, kung mapahiya ako? No? Kung i-reject ako? Kung hindi nila tanggapin yung sinasabi ko? What if they do not believe? Diba? What if they laugh at me? Diba? Kung pagtawalan nila ako, diba? tawagin akong ano, diba? born against or tawagin akong no, no, si Hallelujah. Diba? Parang ganon. No? Ganyan yung, yung mga ano nung, nung, nung panahon namin. Eh. No? Ganon ang mga tawagan dati. No? And that is why no, uh, many times no, we, were, we were worried. No? Even myself, no? I was worried and I was afraid no? and I was ashamed. Diba? Dahil natatakot akong ma-reject at natatakot akong diba, matukso, no? matawag ng kung ano-ano mga bagay. <clears throat> and many times, no, we worry about no, too many things no? when there's only one thing that we need to do. No? All we need to do is to obey. Diba? Ang kailangan lang nating gawin ay sumunod no, sa sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Doon sa Kanyang command. Take that step of faith. Diba? Take that step of faith natatandaan ninyo yung mga yung mga ano yung mga uh, yung mga Jews before they could they could cross the the Jordan River going to the uh, going to the promised land di ba may nakaharang na, nakaharang sa kanila yung Jordan River and the, the Jordan River was very deep and was very wide di ba and they have to cross it wala silang mga bangka no napakadami nila no so what did they do no it only took a step of faith Diba? Yung mga may dala ng Holy of Holies, the moment they stepped on the water no, of the Jordan River, no, the, the, the water of the Jordan River stopped flowing no, and they were able to cross it. No, nakatawid sila no, dun sa Jordan River, much like, no, much like the Red Sea. No, parang yun dun sa Red Sea din. Diba? Na, ang nakakatawa dun, na-experience na nila noon, parang nagda-doubt pa sila ngayon. Diba? But, no, when the when the when the carriers no of the holy of holies no stepped on the water they took that step of faith diba um no they took that step of faith no, the, the water no from the jordan river stopped flowing so ito lang ang kailangan natin this is what we need to do we need to to take that step of faith yes we may be worried yes we may be af- afraid yes we sometimes we may be ashamed no but take that step of faith diba take that step of faith Speak from your experience. Share what God has done for you. Diba? There's nothing extraordinary that God wants you to do. No, He wants you to speak from your experience. He wants you to share what God has done for you. And God has done something for you, for you to believe. Diba? Kaya nga tayo naniwala eh, kasi meron siyang ginawa sa atin, meron siyang binago sa atin. Diba? And how it changed our life no? from darkness to light. No? So speak from there. No? Doon tayo magsimula. Okay? And God will do the rest. No? And after that, what? Diba? How can I make them believe? No? How can I make them accept the salvation that Jesus is giving them? Diba? Paano ko ba gagawin yun? Diba? Paano ko ba sila patatanggapin? No? Paano ko ba sila papapaniwalain? Diba? Doon sa lahat ng ginawa ng, ng ating Panginoon para sa akin. Diba? How can I make them believe? No? There's only one simple answer no, to that question. You can't. Diba? Hindi mo sila kayang papaniwalain. Hindi mo sila, hindi ikaw, no, ang nagbibigay, no, nung, nung pagbabago sa kanilang mga bu- sa kanilang mga buhay. No, Paul said, no, Paul said, I planted, Apollos watered, diba? But it was God who gave the increase. It was God to gave who gave the increase. Our task, no, our task is to share the gospel, to plant and to water. Yun yung task ng mga taga Campus Crusade for Christ when they shared the gospel with me, di ba? No, it was not their task, no, for for to to make me believe, to make me no, to make me accept the Lord Jesus Christ, but their task was to plant the seed, to water it, no, to share the gospel with me, no? Yun yung task natin, no? Yun yung kailangan nating gawin. All we need to do is plant, 
No, all we need to do is water what has been planted. No, and God will give the increase. Si Lord ang magbabago sa buhay, magbabago sa puso ng lahat ng mga nakakapakinig. No, our task is to share the gospel. No, to plant and to water, to move people's heart to believe is not our job. No, hindi po natin trabaho yung tandaan natin. It is not our job. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. No? They may believe now. They may believe after a year or two or maybe even 10 years. No, Or maybe even 20 years. Diba? Maybe be, they will not believe at all. Diba? It is not within our power. It is not within our power to change hearts. No? That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Gawa po yan no, ng banal na Espiritu. All we need to do is take that step of faith, obey, share the gospel, and allow the Holy Spirit to do His work. No, allow the Holy Spirit to do His work. And lastly, no, lastly, no, last lesson that we need to, to, to understand and to know that victory is assured. Victory is assured. It is finished. No, sabi ng ating Panginoong Jesus, it is finished. No, Jesus has already done the hard part. He has already purchased for us our freedom, our salvation. Nandun na yon. Hindi na mawawala yon. No, it is already there. No, no, um, he paid for it with his own life. No, in John 19 verse, uh, verse 30, Jesus said, no. So when Jesus received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Sabi niya, tapos na, diba? And bowing, he said, he gave up his spirit. No? And with those words, no, with those words came victory. It is finished. Tapos na. Diba? Salvation is already there. Salvation has already been no, um, <clears throat> given for all. No? For all uh, to, to receive. Three things left for us to do. No? Tatlong bagay ang kailangan lang natin gawin. Believe in what Jesus has done. Accept the gift of freedom, and finally, share it with others. Diba? Yun lang kailangan natin gawin. Diba? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ no? so that you will be saved. Accept the gift of freedom. No? His salvation. Tanggapin natin yan. It's a gift that is being given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Pwede natin tanggihan no? if, if we do not want to. Diba? But Jesus Christ is giving it to us. No, and He paid for it with His life. No, he is giving us the gift of freedom, the gift of salvation. No, and when we receive it, no, pag natanggap natin yan, no, what do we need to do? We need to share it with others. We need to let others know that there is salvation, that there is this gift of salvation, and that God no, wants us to be saved and is giving it to us no, for free. He has already paid for it with His life. So victory is assured. Victory is assured. In conclusion, the courage to share the gospel comes not from our own strength, no, not from our own abilities, and not even from our knowledge of scripture. Diba? Yes, maybe no, I, I've seen a lot of people no, who knows the Bible in and out, no, memoriado nila, no, bawat salita. No, nung, nung Bible kung saan verses mo sila hanapin di ba? but di ba? Hindi, it's not in the knowledge of the scripture no? yes of course we need to know the scripture no? but it does not come from there the power does not come from there but rather from the fact that when God commanded us to preach the gospel He not only equipped us no? to do His work no? by filling us with the Holy Spirit but also as we take that step of faith to obey, He has assured us of victory. Diba? He has assured us of victory. Diba? So, tandaan natin, no, yung courage to share the gospel, hindi yan nanggagaling sa sarili nating lakas, hindi yan nanggagaling sa sarili nating kaalaman, kundi nanggagaling sa banal na Espiritu. No? Nanggagaling yan sa banal na Espiritu. When God commanded us to preach the gospel, no, He, he equipped us and has given us the Holy Spirit. No? Um, filled us with the Holy Spirit so that we could speak boldly no? and with, 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 with wisdom. No? Um, yun yung ibinigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. And when He commanded us to do so, He has also assured us of victory. So wala na tayong dapat 
no, ikatakot pa or ikahiya pa. All we need to do is share that gospel. Plant that seed. Water that seed. And that is all we need to do. Diba? That is all we need to do. And God will do the rest. No, God will do the rest. No, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57 to 58, it says there, But thanks be to God that He has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, stand firm. Stand firm. No, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord. Because you know that your labor in the Lord will never be in vain. No, hindi hindi po masasayang no, yung work na ginagawa natin para sa ating Panginoon. Yes, people may reject us. Yes, uh, people may may taunt us. Yes, no, maaring mapahiya tayo. No, but sabi dito, no, the Apostle Paul said, no, your work in the Lord will never ever be. hinding-hindi yan mawawala. No? Hinding-hindi yan makakalimutan ng ating Panginoon. So join me in prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you and thank you and glorify you once again. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa salita na ibinigay niyo po sa amin sa umagang ito. And Lord Jesus, Lord, help us and remind us always, Lord God, that the power to share your word, to spread the Holy, to, to spread Uh, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ does not come from our own strength. It does not come from our own knowledge and our own abilities, Lord God, but it comes from the Holy Spirit. All we need to do is take that step of faith to obey, no? to plant that seed, to water that seed. And all we need to do is just pray and, and wait and know that the Holy Spirit is going to do its work no? in those people, Lord, whom we have planted those seeds, Lord God. Lord, muli maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, at panalangin namin, patuloy niyo po kaming gamitin, at patuloy niyo po kaming uh, bigyan ng kalakasan, Panginoon, to speak boldly, Lord God, to share your word and to share your gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, Lord, and amen. So muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Um, naway, uh, you will be encouraged by the word that we have spoken, uh, that we have learned this morning, and uh, Tandaan po natin, God is commanding us to share the gospel. So let's do it. Let's plant that seed and let's water those seeds. So God bless you and good morning. Whenever we share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, We share with others the finished work that He has done and paid for with His life. In John 19 verse 30, He said, It is finished. And bowing His head, He gave up His spirit. And when through the Holy Spirit they believe in Him and what He has done, they too will reap the benefits of our faith in Jesus Christ, our living hope. Join me as we break bread this morning. For I received from the Lord that I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may now take the bread. In the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is the covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. You may now drink the juice. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death. until He comes. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, once again, we thank You, Lord God, for Your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank You for what He did on the cross for us, Lord. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Tulungan Niyo po kami, Lord God, to share, Lord, this blessing 
this love that you have given to us. Uh, Lord, tulungan niyo po kaming ibahagi ito, Lord God, sa ibang mga tao na hindi pa nakakakilala sa Kanya. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for this reminder. Panginoon, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord, and Amen. At this point, we would not want you to miss the opportunity no, to continue worshiping our Lord through your giving, no, through our giving. No, sabi po sa Malachi 3.10, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. No, maaari po ninyong um, i-contakin ang ating mga local pastors as to how you can give no, or you can uh, deposit it directly to our HCF account, no, China Bank account na makikita po ninyo sa inyong mga screens right now. Or you can send it through GCash no, na makikita rin po nyo uh, sa inyong mga screen sa mga oras na ito. Now, if you have any comments or questions about our topic this morning no, na patungkol po dun sa courage in sharing the gospel, um, you may leave a comment no, on this post at HCF Online 2021. Or if it's a sensitive matter no, or a private matter, you can send um, a message to any one of us no, and we will try our best no, to reply to you as soon as possible. So muli, maraming salamat po sa pagsama ninyo sa amin sa umagang ito. God bless you and have a wonderful Sunday. Zion